Okay, bye, thank you. Good morning, all. Just want to get chat up here yeah, so quickly. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, morning, Leonard and Taris. Uh, Tyron, good morning. Uh, today, I've, I've the 2020-05-06 formal PowerPoint is on in the chat. You can uh, please download that to, if you want to work with me. I've changed a few stuff and I uh, just want to make sure everybody's on the same. And I've added a little video too. Good morning, Nelly. Uh, so I'll be still be in for today for uh, Mr. Behrens. And uh, we'll still continue on his PowerPoint. Uh, please keep your video muted and your sound muted. Any questions, please ask in the chat. More questions, the easier it makes it for me as well. Uh, let's see the second slide. So we're doing smart art today. Uh, how to insert a video, just a small video. Uh, we're going to do rehearse timing and save as if we get there. So that's what we're going to do. Please uh, download in chat. I'm going to start in about five minutes. Hey, good morning, Therese. Uh, good morning, Kimon. Uh, today it will only be in chat. Uh, you just go to uh, try. Uh, Let's see there, Theron, you can just go into Microsoft Office and go student. And if your school registered, you, you'll be able to download Word, Excel, and PowerPoint for free. Uh, there is another site, but I'll just have to check and I'll ask them to post a few guys on Monday where you can uh, register yourself and you'll be able to get it. Okay, so just one more time, uh, solutions development power, PowerPoint, uh, smart art, doing video, reverse timing, and save as. Uh, everybody in chat, have you got the file? Is anybody still waiting? Okay, it's, it's in the chat that you get it, Therese. And then afterwards, uh, you can head over to YouTube and you can just go to search African Teen Geeks. Uh, all the YouTube channel from Grade 10, Cat from the beginning is there. Uh, go check it out if you've missed or joined late or only heard late from this. All those uh, work are there and you can catch up there. Or even later when you go back to school, they start doing a topic, start doing PowerPoint and you know it's been done. Just go check it, look at it. You can just catch up for yourself. And then lastly, uh, please tell your friends, everybody, same time, same place, 11 o'clock. Uh, the code won't change. You can share the code with friends and then they'll be there. Okay, so uh, good morning, Musa. I'm going to send the file one more time for these are late. Uh, Sean Moan, good morning. And then we can start. Okay, so I'm going to move over to the other PowerPoint. Uh, so we did this this week so far. We've added the car. I've added the flashing lights as well, so it's the same. Uh, we added this to fly in. So I'm just going to start the PowerPoint uh, from the beginning so you can see. I've added transition with clap, hands clapping, and I'll show you later. We've got the flying in, and we've got the flashing lights. Okay, so if you've missed that, uh, check from Monday, it will help. Uh, we've got a navigation pane here. If you say next, we'll move to the next slide. And this is where we'll be doing our smart art today. 
and if I say next, you this is where we will do our video. So I'm just going to jump out of that one quickly. Okay, so we're going to start with today's work. Uh, you can head over to slide two. Okay, so we'll start over with slide two. Uh, if you're in slide two, we're going to start with the smart art. So you can get to slide two. Now, smart art is the same as you've done in Word, and uh, all the components of smart art will stay the same. So yesterday we went to smart art, we looked at all the difference a little bit, and we checked what we can do. So uh, today we're going to work with it and put it in as if it is one of our presentation one. So if you can go down, uh, you see by all, uh, I'm going to use this table, here is one, and I'm going to use this one for now. Okay, so you can just go, it's on the list, and it should be there. If it's not there, you can go to URC, and you'll see it there at the second row on the right. Okay, so you just click there, click on it, and you say okay, and it will add it for you. Okay, so for now, just add it anywhere. Uh, you've got the text pane on the left. Uh, if you go by design and you go text pane and you unhide or hide, if it's not there, you can add it there. So you can see here, this is level one. So that's the top. This is level two. This will be level two. And you've got level three, which will be uh, at the bottom. Okay, so I've added this link here because all the information we're going to use today came from this website. And if you Hold at the bottom where the notes are. If you pull this up, you'll see I've added a little bit of notes. So as a presenter, this is what you'll be saying to the people. You'll be talking to them and telling them uh, you're going to, the words will appear and you'll be talking to them about whatever is standing there. Okay, so we are speaking about Lamborghini. So most probably, you will have the word Lamborghini as your topic heading. Okay, so I'll just copy this here and paste this in there. Now, if you copy and paste sometimes or all the times, it will do this. So to correctly add something, you must add it by, just cut it there, by working in your design text pane. So at the top, the heading, I would want Lamborghini. Okay, and if it adds that and you want it to move away, just go backspace and you can delete it. So first of all, you want to have all the information and then you can worry about the layout. So I'm just going to add some words here and then we'll speak about it. So the next one on the level two, I would like the word And this is the guy who started Lamborghini. So I will be adding his name there. So you'll see his surname was Lamborghini. And that's why the company's name is Lamborghini. Now, if you present, you'll say, okay, so we're doing Lamborghini. And you'll say, Felicia Lamborghini. And then you'll tell the people about the story of the company. So it was rooted back when the owner, Felicia, and you'll go on, felt unhappy with his brand. Brand new, he bought a brand new Ferrari. He didn't like it. He complained to the uh, Enzo, the owner of the Ferrari. And the guy said, no, that's, that's just how the clutch didn't work too well. Okay, so Ferrari ignored his request. And he, since then, he developed uh, to create the perfect car. So a little bit of Lamborghini history there. So he created, he developed to create the perfect car. So actually, Lamborghini was a tractor company. They started with tractors. They never actually had cars. So he decided, no, we are starting with tractors. And once his uh, Ferrari gave problems and they didn't want to help him, he said, okay, well, we are branding out. We are doing cars as well. Okay, so that's how Lamborghini started. Now, uh, bullfighting is one of the loves in Italy. And you'll see it uh, by most of the cars of Lamborghini is named after bulls. So you'll only put their bullfighting and that will attract the audience because they want to know why is their bullfighting on a, on a PowerPoint by Lamborghini. And then you can speak to them about, unsurprisingly, most of the names are of the bull and you can go on. So then you can speak about 
bullfighting and why bullfighting is is important for this life. Okay, the next uh, I've got there, they've got the, their own logo or uh, slogan. They believe in the following and it's memorable, meaningful and likable. So you'll put that three there and they will see the wording and then they'll wait for you to speak about the wording. So why memorable, meaningful and likable? And these notes here at the bottom, you would mo mainly print this as uh, somebody who's presenting it. So you will print it. Okay, so here you will have the logo or you can say the, uh, you can insert the logo of the picture, which we're not going to do today, but you can easily do that. Uh, remember they showed you insert uh, online pictures and then you can go search there online pictures and you can go look for where uh yeah and you can go you want the lamborghini and they will give it to you so you can easily get and remember what they said png if you want the, this transparent background otherwise just one and remember uh, creative commons only that means you can only use this if it's there. So this means you can use this without being sued, stealing somebody's work or being liable for a, a payment or a punishment or even your video not appearing on YouTube or being taken off the internet. So yeah, there's a Lamborghini logo. Uh, it's not just cut there and you can say paste as a picture. Okay. So if you get the picture, it's in. And I'll just show that again. You can just normally cut this, right click and cut. And if you click on an image and that's uh, right through small dot everywhere, just right click. You've got this one, which is a, which is a use destination theme, or you can paste it as a picture. So yeah, we've got a little picture there and we can write something there for click for more information. Okay, so click for See my one hand stopping a little bit quicker than the other. Click for more information. And you can add that if it's a PowerPoint you're giving out to people. But uh, for us, we're going to present it. So we won't add that. We'll just click there if we want to in a presentation. Okay, so this is basically how you'll do this. And you can a little bit move it over. You can start doing the editing or the making it look good. So first of all, Get in all the information, uh, work on which level you want the information. If you want the owner's name on top, you can click on there. You can go by design and you can say promote and it, the owner's name will go with the up or you can say demote uh, and you can work. So you can just go down. We want the bullfighting to demote and we want the slogan of the company to demote and you've got this. Okay, then uh, after that, we'll move over to change coloring. Now, you will be working in the design, change coloring. Now, if you've got a bright PowerPoint, you can use the colorful one. But for this case, we are gonna st we're going to stick to black and, uh, black and red. And we can go recolor there, or you can just go by format, shape fills. Uh, we can go black. And you can do everything if you just click there, shape falls, and you go black. So that's the background. And if you want to do only the shapes, click on it by keeping in control and clicking on every single one. So everyone is highlighted separately. You can go shape full and say, okay, let's make it black. Okay, you can also, any shape full eyedropper you can go and you can choose a color or whichever way you want to. Okay, so this one we would most probably keep transparent because you've got the picture there and you don't want to add that one there. Okay, so we'll leave this one out. So shape full and we'll make it black for now. Okay, so we've got the picture in, it's a PNG, so it's background see-through, we've got our names there. We can keep it white or we can go uh, we can go shape outline and make it red. So we stick to the red and, 
and you can just add this one shape outline uh, red. So we're sticking to the black and red. Uh, I've added this at the bottom uh, just for you guys, but we can use this if you copy this. Right click and copy. Uh, you've, you've learned earlier how hyperlinks work with this navigation pane here. You can click on the Lamborghini, the pitch itself. You can go right click. Remember, most of the times in that, you just right click on the, the picture, the word, whatever you're working with, the table, and it will give you quick access to a lot of things. Okay, so we want a hyperlink. And here you can choose existing in this page, uh, placing this document. Uh, we want to do existing file or web page, but we're going to paste the address at the bottom. Okay, so it's just, okay, just quickly one more time. Just right click there, edit hyperlink, or if it's new, you just say right click hyperlink. You go to existing file or web page here by insert hyperlink. You can change all these, whatever you want to. Right click and paste an address if you've got the hyperlink on your own. And you can say, okay, so now you'll get your mocks for hyperlinks as well. And you've got the Lamborghini, you've got the name, and you've got your notes. Nobody will see the notes. The notes are there for you. And uh, you've got the notes, you've got the wording. You can tell the people more about it. And it, when you do your pad later, you can write the topic and you can write the information you've gathered at the bottom. So people who are seeing it knows why you're putting the word tractor there. Otherwise, not everybody would know why tractor is there. Okay, is everybody, everybody with any questions so far? Uh, how did you get the logo? Okay, the logo, I uh, went to insert. I uh, went to online pictures. If, you don't, if you've got it on your computer, you can just go to pictures. But the best is go online pictures and it will open the picture view for you. We'll just wait for it here. Uh, sometimes uh, it takes a lot, so. Online pictures, you can use a search here and you just type in your word Lamborghini or whatever you're searching for. And remember, uh, earlier this week, he said you can add PNG if you want the transparent background, but Lamborghini and you say enter. It will search, make sure this is clicked on so you don't get in trouble unnecessarily and you can go through and watch for what you want so there's the logo down here at the bottom if you even you can even go and say uh, there you can write Lamborghini logo it's more specific the more specific wording is best just don't use two words or five or six words too many uh, never write a full sentence use keywords okay don't ask Google a question give them keywords it will help a lot okay okay so online pictures uh, good that's there uh, okay, there's a cool, everything's fine further. Okay, so now we'll start. You can do a little bit of animation with this as well. So smart art animation, you still click on it. Uh, we're not gonna do something fancy. We just want basics. Okay, we've started off all amazing in slide one. And let's go slide two, we do just something easy. Drain, turn, zoom, appear. So I'm just gonna go shape. So it comes in as a shape. And this is now, if you click on this and you go to the animation pane, you're still here at animations, animation pane, it will show you the animation pane in a little bit more setting. You can also right click on it and you can go there if you want to. You can go there by animation, effect options, you can, already say there which shape you want, want to go in or out. Uh, animation pane, if you go on a drop down and you go effect options, so animation pane, drop down, effect options, you can also do everything here. And this is most probably better because everything is at one place. So direction, let's keep it at in. Sound I don't want, after animation, don't them. We want it to appear. Uh, timings, uh, we can go with after previous or you can go on click or whatever you want so after previous delay 
if you're going to do the PowerPoint and you're going to speak, you'll most probably have it on, uh, on click. So you want to click for it to appear. Duration, two seconds, yes, that's fine. Smart as one object, uh, all at once, a branch one by one, by level or level one by one. You can choose there. Uh, let's go level one by one. And if I say, okay, just check it out. Okay, there's this. And that's that's what we want because we're going to speak about Lamborghini and then we're going to go to the owner, track the bullfighting or whatever. So once again, if you want to make PowerPoint, do animations, nobody can teach you how to do good animations. You just need to play. We can show you where to go, where to get everything. But to the difference between a okay PowerPoint and a great PowerPoint is the people putting in time with animations and all doing a little bit extra to see if I go there, what effect options are there. I can go plus and it will show little pluses or effect options there all at once. You can do this here or whatever you want. So if I go here and uh, I go to slideshow uh, from current, I present current slide here. So let's just see this current slide. Let's see there, if I click, okay, there comes the Lamborghini. Now this gives you the opportunity to chat about the Lamborghini and every single one at its own. So clicking on it, check the, we'll go there, bullfighting, the motto or the logo, here's the logo. And if you want to and you're presenting it, you can now click on this link and it will show the website you've added. Okay, uh, if this is a video, we'll do it now next. So there you've got it, you've got everything now. So Lamborghini, you've got your notes here and you are ready to chat. Okay, everything fine with this slide. Anything I need to repeat about the slide or we can we move over to the video. Okay, fade, yes, just, just play with it. Fade will look nice. Uh, the rest of the people there, everybody, in happy, can we continue to slide number three? Okay, thank you, Therese, Tara, thanks. Uh, thanks for the feedback in the chat. The more you chat, the better it's for everybody. Okay, okay, so let's go to slide three. Uh, so I've already added the video, so not to, so we can look for videos or something. And I've created my own little video. If I kind of say play here, yeah, you will see now. So play. Okay, you might want to see this. So play. Uh, so I said, this is a custom video created Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, it replaces the sales video of Lamborghini. I actually wanted to show that. So I just added it there. And you're just watching out for YouTube copyright claims. We don't want to get the videos removed from YouTube because of uh, something we are doing here. Okay, so I'll show you how to create your own video on PowerPoint later. Uh, we'll get to that. But firstly, let's go to insert. And if you've got a video and you want to insert the video, uh, we need to do this this way. So you'll go insert and right at the right, right hand side, you've got video, audio, uh, screen recording, you can re record your screen as well. So we'll go to video and you can say online video. So online videos, we'll say again, you can get something from YouTube, but you need to read their terms of uh, privacy and use. Okay, so sometimes they'll remove your videos and so You can also have the embedded code. So if you right click on any video, if it's online and you right click and you say embedded code, you can come here and copy paste this and he will add this as a video here. Sometimes, depending on your internet speed, it will be jumpy or it will buffer or whatever. Okay, so otherwise video, video on my PC. So I've got the video on my PC and I will go to my desktop. I'll go to ATG today's and we've got this custom video here. Just say insert and it will add the video. Okay, so I've added the video for everybody. You can now work with this video. Okay, so again, if you're on this video, you can go to format, you can change it, there's video shape, you can make this video smiley or it's almost uh, Mother's Day, so you might want to add a little video there. 
so shapes you can change you can change the border you can give them a thick everything you can normally do with a with a picture or shape and then you can crop it and all those okay but mostly we want to go to playback okay so playback is the important part of the video for us okay uh, this is today's file i'll just quickly add you the file there okay so to get this file you can download, can download it. So if I've added the video at the bottom right hand. And firstly, you need to click on the video for the format pane to appear. Okay, so you click on the video, it will have format and it will have playback. Okay, so we've got that there. And then we can go play, you can play it, you can add a bookmark, you can trim the video. So if the video is five or six minutes and you just want the one minute or 30 seconds part of it. You can go in and say trim video and you can trim the video a little bit. Uh, it's a pleasure. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, thank you. Okay, that's the, the eighth one. Okay, so I've added a new one. So you've got the video and you can go in start automatically uh if you or you want to wait for a click uh you can if you're presenting it most of the times you want to wait for a click because you want to tell them okay the following video is our promotional video of the company or this video is going to tell you about whatever you're presenting about so you'll take plain full screen most probably most of the time uh you can also add content and have a little video here at the top and you've got content here and just this video looping uh, animation or something you can do that if it's then you don't want to play it full screen. So you don't always have to have it. You can have all your content here and you can put this video here at the right hand. You can have everything here and you can speak. And as soon as you click, uh, this will automatically jump over and be full screen. So you don't need to drag it like I'm doing full screen, but uh, just doing this, it looks a little bit, I don't like the white background. So you've got that there. Uh, hide while not playing you can do that as well so it won't show and you don't have to put it here on the right hand side so we'll be hanging around uh, we've got loop until stop so if you've got a lot of animation you just say loop there and it will loop entire time okay rewind of the playing yes i want to rewind or you don't need to rewind uh, it's a pleasure okay so you've got that there and we've got the play from so we'll see this if you play there. If you right click on this, you can say format video. Uh, you can do a little bit other stuff. You can preview. So we've got our video. So if I go from the start, uh, so this is what we've created so far this whole week. And we go to slideshow and say from beginning, you will see we've got a little video now. So we've added that, we've got it's going flying through and uh, we've added this. This is, this is quite cool. Not everybody will know how to do this. So this will definitely help you a little bit extra in your PowerPoint. So go check that out earlier this week. So next, uh, I'm going to get this now. And if you click, you're going to get, you're going to start speaking about the Lamborghini. So I'm just going to click here to get everything in. So you've got your animations. You've got this, you can speak about this, you can click next and your little video, of course we've said it, start playing uh, on click. It's going to wait for us for a click. And as soon as we click this little video, custom video I've built is going to play. So most probably you have your sales video or a video of something you want to show the people there. And it's always better to insert the video. Online videos or embedded videos is great if you've got good internet, but sometimes if you present and you get to a company or you get to school or you get to somewhere where you want to show this to people, it is it will not always the internet will not always be up to standard like yours are. Okay, so just to get out here. So we're gonna end the slideshow. And that's that. Any questions so far on that? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, no other people, any questions? Okay, so we, we've done the smart art, we've, we've checked the video, 
And now we're getting to the rehearse timing bit. So for rehearse timing, this will be most probably when you're just going to leave the video alone, or you're going to send it for somebody so they can watch it. And uh, that's how I did this little video we've got here also. Okay, so you can go for rehearse timing. You want to, if you do rehearse timing, you won't have a navigation, but you can keep it there if you want to quickly jump something or so but most probably won't have a navigation pane. So you won't have navigation and rehearse timing. So it's, it's both does the same, but you can have rehearse timing as well. So if you go to slideshow and you move over to rehearse timing, it's gonna, it's gonna start your video. And now you should practice what you want to tell the people. So you will be saying, good day, everybody I'm speaking. Today I'm speaking about Lamborghini. Uh, this is a PowerPoint. And as soon as you click next, it will move to the next one. So this is where we said, okay, we're gonna click. We wait for the animation to appear. Give everybody a chance to see it's a Lamborghini, what's standing there to read. And then you start speaking and you're saying, okay, Lamborghini, and that's where you get out your notes. So now we've got our notes there and you speak about what you wanted to say about Lamborghini. You click, you get the next one, you speak about. And yesterday I said, if, if you're practicing your PowerPoint, just give a little bit of time, a second or two extra, depending if you're a fast reader, give everybody just a little bit more time. If you're a slow reader, you'll be fine and we'll go on. So we click on this, track this. I'm just going to click, otherwise this video is going to get very long. So every time you click, the next thing will appear. On the top here, you will see uh, the time. This is the length of this current slide. This is the length of the full video at this stage. If you click there, it will say next. So you don't have to have this. If you don't have that, you just click next. And you've got the video. You're going to give it a little bit of time to introduce the video, speak about the video, say something about this is our promotional video. You're going to click. You're going to watch the video. And as soon as your video is finished, you will say, uh, on the top here, you will say next. So your video is finished and you will say next. So then it will say Microsoft PowerPoint, the total time of your slide shows one minute 38. Do you want to save the slide timings? If you say yes, it will be your timing. If you felt no, you've been a little bit too quick on slide two or a little bit too slow on slide two, you can say no and you can do it again. So even if you say yes, it will uh, just add a little of timing and you can also do it again. You can say again, set up slide, reverse timing, or you can go again to that. Okay, so if I click on this, you will see we've got there a little bit of play animation there and we just go here to slide sorter. If you go at the bottom here to slide sorter, you will see now, so slide, one, I did in 13 seconds. Slide two, I did in almost 60 seconds, 59 seconds there. And slide three went for 25 seconds. So now you've got a little video. So if I go to from beginning and I play the slideshow from beginning and I play it, I don't have to click anything. I don't have to click anything. Uh, it will do everything on its own because we have done rehearse timing so you check your timing and this is where you need to go and you need to go you need to practice what you wanted so there it goes on its own you need to practice this with people at your home or people at your company or on your own just speak about what the topic is you've spoken about the lamborghini and with time it will add everything as you clicked it will do it today so there you go we've got the name spoken and we will move on to the next so this is where you probably so any questions on the rehearse timing so far so Okay, so rehearse timing, just gonna go next there and it will show everything for you. So uh, rehearse timing, you've done that and it will go. If you want to record your slideshow, 
Uh, you can start from beginning and record your slideshow and it will also do this as a video or so. So we've got this and with a uh, record slideshow, we will save this as. So the, the last part is uh, the different uh, save types for today. Uh, so everybody happy with record timing? Okay, so Tito, thank you, Tino, Therese, everybody there. Uh, so we're gonna go to the save as now. So rehearse timing, it's, it's, it's a process. You have to do it two or three times practice, two or three times practice, and then we'll go. So if we go to file and you go to save as, same as Word, you can, and Excel and all those, you can say, so I want to go to the current folder again, and you've got this at the bottom. So this is what I've got for today. Uh, file name, uh, you can change the name there as always. Save types. Okay, so this is a presentation. You've got the PDF. So if you want to send it to somebody in a PDF format, you can save it as an older presentation, 2003, just to be in case. And you can go down, template. You can create your own PowerPoint template. So from now on, you'll always have your business logo and the layout and you can send it to people or whatever. And you've got the PowerPoint show. Now this is the one we're gonna do now. So if you wanna save it as a PowerPoint show, and I'll just there, there, just put the S there at the back, and I say save, uh, bring this down, just go this down quickly, and go in here, and we've got this. So you'll see there is the former one we've had, this is the one we're working on, and if I double click, it says slide show. So if I click on this, it will not open PowerPoint. It will open the slide show. So this opens the slide show, it runs your animation. And this is where your slide show rehearsal, your rehearse timing is going to come in. So everything's there. You can also go there next or to slide show. This one's waiting for your click. So this one will show. You just need to take out the clicks here for it to work. So you will say after and you will wait for it. And you've got the clicks. So this is the PowerPoint show. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it here. You can go through. And because you've inserted the video, not the link, this video will also play. And you need to make sure that everything is in the same folder and you show him where to get the stuff. Okay, so that's the PowerPoint show one. And then I'll go quickly back to this. And this is how I created the last one. I had two or three slides there. I set everything up there. I set the timing and set uh, five seconds, 13 seconds, 60 seconds, 25 seconds. I've set it up. You can go to file, save as, same place now for now, current folder. We've got the PowerPoint show, and if we go down, you've got two types of video formats. We've got pictures here as well. So if you want to save that as a picture, you can say JPEG, and you can say save. And it will ask you which slides do you want to save, all slides, just one. And if you go to all slides, it will say, okay, it's been saved. And if I open that, let's say, uh, there's the picture folder file. If you open it, it's got the three slides as pictures. So there you can quickly get your slideshow as pictures. Okay, and then the last one here is, if I go into this and file, save as, I've left this to, for lastly, because this, this takes a little bit of time. If you go to MPEG or Windows Media File, I'm gonna make a video of this. And if I say save, it will make a video of the slideshow. Now, it's gonna take a little while because it has to create the video file. So this is the bigger the, the PowerPoint, the longer it will take for the video to be created and it will work with the timings you've set up. So I'm just gonna, it's gonna take a while now, so I'm gonna leave it there. And then we've got our own little video created from our PowerPoint. 
Uh, if I go back to this, this is how I created this little one. I had three slides, created an MP4 file, a custom one, and it created. So this one is still being saved. Uh, and like I said, sometimes it take long. Uh, the bigger it is with the video in, it's going to take a little bit longer, all the animations and so on. So you can just wait it out and you've got your own little video created from a PowerPoint. So uh, th this is also a way, yesterday I had a question about the animations. You can do create your little stickman animations or so the car moving or whatever with a lot of slideshows. So you can get a little bit creative with this save method. Okay, so we're just going to wait for that. Okay, any little questions there? While we're waiting for this to uh, set up. And uh, once again, from Monday, uh, all the videos are on YouTube. Go check it out if you've missed the, the car, the beginning, or anything else. Uh, every day from Monday to Friday at, at 11 same code please tell other people to come join uh we're almost going to finish now just want to put this slide up quickly while we wait so this is the youtube every teen geeks this is the youtube link uh just search there go to cat you can go cat great 10 other subjects as well and i'm just going to put this one up so please tell everybody else every single day Monday to Friday at 11, join us. We're covering the whole CAD curriculum. It's going to put your head and it's going to help you. So please tell your friends. Uh, I've, like I said yesterday, at the stage there were more than 100 people here. At least there's 24 of you keeping it up. And well done for you for working in this off time. Okay, so like I said, this video is going to take a while. And... If your video is finished, you can play it. So there's no more questions. Any questions there? Okay, thank you, Leonard, uh, Therese, Esther, bye. Uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, any Anything you want to do, still work on PowerPoint, please let me know. But I'll see you again on Monday. Thank you, guys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed these two days with me. But uh, enjoy the rest of this until the school starts again then we'll see you guys on monday try this at home uh, uh Coleman, i'm not sure what you guys are discussing next week uh, uh log in on monday i'm sure it'll, uh, they'll tell you on monday what's going to happen for the rest of the week uh bye kimon uh try this at home save your own little videos and give feedback on monday say if you've got this videos that it work that you enjoy it and what working. Enjoy this weekend and then we'll see you guys on Monday. Thank you guys.